Hello. I am Dr. Richards, the Director of Special Education for the District. It is so nice to meet you, Dr. Richards. My name is Cynthia Moore. Hi, Cynthia. To start off, tell me about yourself. Well, I just graduated with an education specialist degree in school psychology. Last year, I was an intern at an elementary school, but I was also able to work at the middle school and the districts throughout the year. As a result, I have a lot of experience with kindergarten through eighth grade. Since I am fluent in Spanish, I am interested in working with bilingual populations. I am also interested in strengthening the connection between home and school. I know this district has a large Spanish-speaking population and has taken initiatives to get parents involved in their children's education. So I was happy when I heard there was an opening at Lakeview Elementary. Yes. We have been working to strengthen the homeschool connection. Please tell me about one of your personal strengths. My personal strength is definitely my ability to work with a variety of people effectively. I have worked with children of various abilities in both recreational and academic settings. I have gained professional experience working with teachers and other staff members through practicum and internship. As I mentioned before, I am interested in working with families. During my internship, I had the opportunity to run a parent group using an evidence-based program called The Incredible Years. These different experiences have given me confidence in my ability to communicate and collaborate with the various populations I will work with on a daily basis. Great. Interpersonal and communication skills are definitely an important aspect of the job. Now please tell me about a personal weakness. Well, sometimes I am so eager to get involved and see positive change, I take on more than I should. In an effort to improve myself as a professional, I am trying to narrow in on a few goals at one time and put all my energy into those goals. Then I can take on smaller roles in other initiatives or learn to delegate tasks to others who want to get involved. The quality of my work is more important than the quantity, and by keeping track of my goals and managing my time wisely, I know I can be successful in this area. Yes. That is a problem that many of us in the field have to deal with. As you alluded to, many times we work with others to accomplish our goals. Please tell me about a time you were part of a successful team. I have worked on many teams that have been successful. This success has almost always been a result of solid communication and a shared goal. Last year during my internship, I worked with the school-wide positive behavior support team. At one of the meetings, I shared some suggestions for a weekly reward system that showcased students for positive behavior. I also shared ideas I had for the school assembly. The team members liked my ideas and implemented them soon after the meeting. The students and other staff members were excited about the changes and I was happy to have been influential in these changes. That is great. If you were hired, what areas would you like to get involved in within the school or district? As I mentioned earlier, I am interested in strengthening parental involvement in school. I have seen this happen through a parenting intervention group, but I am open to other methods as well. Something I think that encompasses this initiative as well as other initiatives is ongoing training for school staff. I would love to get involved in professional development opportunities. It is so important that teachers and school staff keep learning and developing their skills. I would be happy to help organize workshops that meet staff needs and that strengthen the school as a whole. Well that is all I have to ask you today. Do you have any questions for me before we end? Yes. As I mentioned, I value professional development. I am wondering how supervision is structured for school psychologists in your district. Great question. We have monthly meetings for all school psychologists which include both professional development and time for peer supervision. Additionally, I supervise all of the psychologists and provide formative and summative evaluation of skills. Each psychologist sets goals for the year that we measure and discuss. Also, you should know that all of our early career psychologists, those in their first three years of practice, are paired with a mentor to provide ongoing support. Do you have any other questions today? I think that I have gotten a good picture of your district. Thank you for your time. 
When should I expect to hear from the district regarding a decision? Within the next week. Thank you, Cynthia. It was a pleasure meeting you. Enjoy the rest of your day.